It's time for another edition of Makina Stuff, and this is our second episode on Tambuchos. <music> Our first episode on Tambuchos was with YRS, if you recall that, that happened uh, early this year. If you haven't seen that episode yet, basically what Barney assured me was that kaya niyang patahimikin yung pipe para hindi bulabog, pero hindi siya as restrictive as the stock pipe, walang sungaw, walang backfire, and maganda yung performance. And he delivered all of that. The R90 is not one of the easiest bikes to tweak. On the first try of YRS, Sina Barney did a pretty good job. So fast forward a few months later, I attended the uh, Ducati Monster Day. And that's where I met uh, JP Loha of Orion Performance Pipes. He showed up there and he won one of the awards for, I think it was the loudest pipe. <laughs> <laughs> in a Ducati Monster Day. It sounded really good and they were comparing it with the branded ones side by side. Sound wise it was good. Of course performance wala pa akong first hand info on that. So he talked to me as well and he said can you also feature my little shop? Sabi ko of course, of course, you know, let's support local. Ang kagandahan nito like YRS tinitira na ngayon yung titanium. So far these are the two that I am aware of that are doing it. What are the advantages of titanium? Definitely it's lighter, it sounds better. And when I say it's lighter, it's not like yun na yun tapos gano na kamahal ganyan ganyan blah, 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 blah. No, when you compare how light it is from the stock na sobrang layo, para kami ang kasig pag may stock. Tapos it's, it's hard to explain, especially in big bikes when pipes can get really, really heavy. So what happened was, like the YRS thing, I was on another trip and I just left my bike there. And I told Barney sa YRS, bahala ka na. And I told the same thing to, to JP, bahala ka na rin what you want to do and let's see. By the time I got back, it was ready. But I did drop by the shop. Watch this. Okay, looks like we're at the right spot. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello, sir. I don't see Sir JP. Magandang uh, ano na ba? Tanghali na sir. Tanghali na. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey. Papa, alga kayo ng uh, motor ah. Oh. Customers Lounge. Hello. Hi. Sige. Why titanium? Titanium is 60% lighter than stainless steel. Stronger does not corrode unlike other metals. Creates crisper and more rasp exhaust noise. I didn't speak the fast growing produce a distant wind but call it a team provides a better power than we were right back. Memorize kuna. Hello, Sawakas, Nakata Ning Dindito. I didn't mean memorize kuna. Here you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this is the bike that we have commissioned to JP. Takal kuna wala no? So it's been over a month ata. Pasensya at hindi ako nakadalo at i-pick up yung motor pero okay, let's take a look. Wow. That looks really bad ass. Ganda. Grabe ah. Tell us about what you did. Full titanium exhaust. Full system. From the headers. All the way to the... Okay. Ana, shall we take a listen? Yeah. So it's still on this unmistakably boxer R90 note but it's a deeper, deeper, deeper sound. it's a deeper sound okay mark of uh, titanium of course blue looks really badass ilagat mo pa siya para makita talaga yung gulong no? para in case na mag-upgrade ng grips itakita so I haven't used my bike for the longest time for 3 months na ata I've been out and about so it's been at the gable hands of JP in Orion I just left it with him uh, of course, we're trying to support local, trying to support our Pinoy suppliers for pipes. Kasi, syempre, magaling sila eh. Kamusta na yung kapit bahay mo? Hindi naman na sila naihinis sa kakarip ninyo dito araw-araw. Uh, Sanay nga, ever since 1997. <laughs> Mayat na yan, may rep na rep dito eh. So, shall we? Wow. That sounds really good. Good job. Thank you very much, my friend. Good job. Featuring you now here in uh, Makina Stuff, we are very proud of Panga uh, Pinoy and we try to support all of these people who are, are pushing because, syempre, locally made items, motorcycles, you, you are creating jobs. Maraming opportunities, eh. pag you expand ka, you can actually export one day. How did Orion Racing Pipes start? Just muffler shop siya dati. Kasi 1997, nag start to sa parents in loco pa. Mm. Tapos nag-start yung Orion 2013. Okay. Nung nandito na ako, yung kinasal na ako sa wife ko. Orion Muffler Race. Shop. Orion Muffler Shop muna. Dumating ka 2013. 2013. Kinasal kayo ni Miss mo ngayon. Okay. 
Tapos, sabi mo, ako na bahala dito. <laughs> Medrep muna ako. Nung pregnant yung wife ko, pinahandle sa akin nung dinag ko. Medrep? Layo ata sa tambucho. <laughs> ah, before kayo kinasal ni Mrs. nagmamotor ka na? Hindi, hindi, wala talaga. Ah, wala talaga. Jow's muffler shop for cars or for motorcycles na? Motorcycles, two-stroke, sasakyan, mga underboat. Pumasok ako, nagkaroon ng problema sa mga small bikes. Yun na yung mga nagkaroon ng city ordinance. <laughs> Kaya pumasok ako ng malaki. Mid-quarter na ng 2014. Kasi talagang hanggang sa dumating yung point na wala na kaming kliyente talaga. Ang mahigpit na noon yung mga city ordinance na yun. Iba, nilalagyan naman na silence yun. Yan, yung ginawa kong package na ah, para okay. makontinuous pa rin. So when you guys got into big bikes, paano mo inaral to lahat? Kasi kamo mo, medrep nga eh. Oh, yeah, so, paano mo narating yan? Paano mo naaral from medrep to ano yung mga stages nun? Nung unang pinahandle sa akin, pinanood ko lang talaga siya. The whole year, inaaral ko yung ano yung mga ginagawa ng mga employees namin. Tapos, so, nag-ship kami sa big bike. Mm. Tapos, buti na lang yung mga clients na dumating ko, ma- yung matyatsaga, trial and error talaga kami. Okay. Bawat isang bike, mga two to three times namin uulit-ulitin. So, yun. ibig sabihin nun, gusto nila yung handiwork. Tapos yung kung tama na ba yung nagawa namin ng mga sukat ng piping. Pag dumating ng pangatlong time na inayos yung pipe, pag tumawag na na okay na, nililista ko na yung mga sukat. <laughs> Meron na kaming listahan ng mga mga sukat ng mga gagawin. Bawat, bawat bike. Anong bike na big bike na sinalpakan mo? Masasabi na ba natin lahat na? Bawas lahat. Pag may bago, punta ka agad dito. Yes, yan, katulad bike. yan, uh, kagandahan din ng mga ibang bike dealership. Pag may bagong lalabas na bike, nagpapadala ng demo bike dito. Minsan i-retrofit. Kaya ang available sa kasa, pang ibang bike, eh may lalabas sila isang bike. Try mo na i-retrofit ang ganun. Para pag dinemo sa kasa, may tunog na. <laughs> yung start namin, mostly nun talaga more than Z1000. Okay. Sunod-sunod na yun hanggang sa dyan dumating na yung Ducati. Yung mga nasirang pipe ng mga tumakarera na i-repair namin. Tapos hanggang sa dumating na itong mga Suzuki, KTM, BMW. Tapos yan, si Honda. Nung nagbuka si Honda dito, sunod-sunod na rin. <laughs> ano naman masasabi mong pinaka-challenging na motor? Engine-wise na medyo nakailan ulit ka bago niya nahuli? Ducati. Tsaka BMW. Lupian talaga, uh, medyo masailan talaga yung bike. For, for the R90, trial and error sir, maraming yeah, sumusubok sa R90 pero hindi lahat mahuhuli nga. Yes, sir. So far, our friends from YRS na Barney, they also did, we were also supporting them, okay din yung ginawa nila noon. Ewan ko, ano, anong ginawa nilang magic dun sa loob? Meron silang ginagawang mga kung ano mm-hmm. ano dun sa timpla-timpla ng ano nila. So, next step is really export na. Anong bansa na bang kumukuha sa'yo? Meron akong isang order taga Japan, tsaka isang taga UK. Ano yung usual ballpark figure ng mga prices mo? Like, for example, itong R90, magkano inabot yung ganyang klaseng design? Ito ginawa? yung design na to, na full titanium na yan. Das, dalawang muffler ang na-cost na na-compute namin is 78,000. 78,000. 78, Pero full titanium. Custom. Custom. Diba? Custom made. Yan. Ikaw custom lang. Made, diba? yes. Yes. Paano na yung mga 4-cylinder? Pag yung mga 4-cylinder, depende rin kasi sa design ng pinaka-muffler. Mostly mga range niyan, 85 to 95. Single cylinder, underbone, scooter. Uh, hindi mo tinalikod ang... No, no, no. Completo. Adyan pa rin sila. Basta may tambucho, gagawa natin yan. <laughs> <laughs> Magkano naman range na? Sa underbone, for specifically mm-hmm. example, uh, Raider 150 na full titanium at uh, 27,000. So, this is a different level of pipes as you can see with the pricing. Hindi siya yung typical 7,000. Mga stainless na yun. Oh, stainless or 6,000. Pero, kumitira ka nila stainless. Kumpira sa mga ako. medyo budget sila, ito lang. Gusto namin JP eh. Habulin natin doon sa budget nila. Okay, okay. The advantages of, of titanium is kind of clear as I, yun nga, yung minemorize natin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And that's why. And ang gaang sa motor, iba pa, iba pa rin talagang efficiency. Actually, uh, ibang way din para ano, mag-modify ng motor, pumayat ka. Di ba? Papa, no, papayat. <laughs> okay, uh, maraming salamat, uh, JP. We're gonna try out your pipe. I wish you the best in your business and ang kilikin po natin ng gawang Pinoy. Thanks, man. Salamat po, salamat po. <laughs> so, how did it perform? Performed really, really well. One, the tone. Nandun, I like how it was made. And ang importante sa akin, walang sungaw or walang loss of power or hindi nag-depreciate yung performance ng bike ko. Again, I don't wanna say na lumakas. I don't wanna say it got faster or anything like that. Kasi alam mo na kong dino eh. I mean, it's so hard to base it on feel, especially with something like power. And medyo spaced apart then between my stock pipe and that. But definitely, I'm still happy with how it accelerates. Now, comparing it with the uh, Y, RS, magkaiba sila. The YRS, Barney has the ability to, I don't know anong nilalagay niya doon sa loob na yun, may capability siya para patahimikin yun when you need it to be quiet without the sakal thing. Si Uray naman, I, I haven't actually asked him kung kaya niya, pero his style is he, he wants it, you know, out. 
So it depends on what you like. Giveaway time! Yes, there's a giveaway. So JP of Orion will give away a full exhaust setup from Heather's to Dulo. The whole thing, custom and titanium. So swerte niya if ang manalo dito ay single cylinder na madali lang gawin na pipe. Because the cost on his end, syempre mas mura. But sabi ko paano pag 4-cylinder big bike nanalo, okay lang yan, Zach. I'll, I'll still do it. Go, wow, galeng. So, it's gonna be a random thing. Up, down, up, down, choosy, woozy again. And we're gonna announce the winner maybe a few days before Makina Moto Changa. You have to be in the venue to claim the prize para magawa ni JP yung bike mo. If you're not there, we're gonna give it to somebody else. So, how to win? It's very, very easy. You have to go to the Facebook page and get the instructions over there. Apart from that, I will also give away a Makina book. And this book is also available in his shop sa Orion alongside the other shops. If you want it delivered to your home quite a bit, you can text this number. Our labor of love, we collected all our bike reviews. About 50 bike reviews are in this book. And lahat ng biyahe natin, lahat ng kwento, puro mga interviews dito ng mga celebs and all of that. All in that book. The Year in Motorcycles, Makina Book. The price is 375 pesos. It's discounted already. The original price is 1 million pesos. This is Zach for Makina Stuff. Good luck. Ciao. Pagkasaya Mamayang gabi Makalimot